I mean, if she's ready, is she ready? Well, then, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Liza Taylor. Yeah. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Oh, y'all just jealous right now. I understand. I understand. Please feel free. Join us. Join us. Have a seat. Have a seat. No, you're not. A, here. How do I do this? Hello. Oh, there it is. Hi. Oh, I'm here for you. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Is this your first time in tech? It is. Well, welcome. It's yes. Cool. <laughs> but luckily in here, it's very cool. So yes. That's good. Well, oh my cool. God, thank you. Absolutely. 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 Um, so obviously these folks have plenty of questions. questions. Oh, I can okay. see. So yes, yes. Okay. So I won't even waste any time. Okay. I will just jump into theirs. But towards the end of this, we did do a special thing where we reached out to Twitter and Three lucky folks get to ask their questions via Twitter, so I will be them cool. to you. Okay. We'll save that. We'll save that. All right. So, starting on this side. Uh, hello. 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 Um, my question is, um, in, in the show, um, what is your favorite stunt you've done? Your favorite stunt? My favorite stunt. Yes. Um, ooh. I mean, I've gotten to do so much cool stuff on this show. Um, I've learned how to like ride horses and like uh, sword fight and shoot guns and like all of this like crazy stuff. Um, but my favorite stunt would probably be I mean the the fight that I had with Anya mm -hmm. that was like that that felt really badass. I was like <laughs> pardon my language. <laughs> that was probably my favorite. Yeah. Thank you. I do believe uh, BuzzFeed rated you as in the top 29 most badass female characters. Yes. Yes. So that does make sense and absolutely true. So That's so cool. Yeah, yeah. All right. That's not oh, real, is it? Hello. There's my Bellamy. Oh. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> so which episode of season four would you say was your favorite to film and why? Um, I mean, my favorite scene, I, you know, I, I was just doing a convention recently in Germany and, and so you might have heard this already, but um, it was the last scene. It was um, being like, uh, as a like nearly 28 year old playing a 17 or 18 year old on <laughs> television. <laughs> It's totally passed. Really? Passed. I think it's getting... I was going to guard you before you came up here. I was Really? Just, absolutely. You're going to ID me? It's for that water. I don't know. You know, yeah. that could be... Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, cool. Um, <laughs> so I... It was... An, it's nice to have the time jump. Um, sorry, spoiler. spoiler <laughs> um, yeah, that'd be caught up. Uh, and to, like, I guess this makes Clark, like, 24, and she's, like, I, you know, being able to play, like, someone, you know, like, a more mature... Um, Clark um, was really exciting. Um, the time jump caught me and my sister off guard. We were like, what? I, I'm, yeah, I'm just so glad that it's out there now because I was so excited to tell people. Like, <laughs> I was like, you know, um, six and a half years later, yeah. So that was my favorite scene. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Hello. Uh, hi, I have two questions. I am wondering what is your favorite line as Clark and who is your favorite actor to film scenes with in the show? Okay, my favorite line. God, I, I, you, you know we're talking about like five years of <laughs> lines, and I talk a lot. So. Um, you can just make up if you want. Um, what would Clark say? Well, uh, yeah. goodness me. Um, <laughs> mm, I mean, I mean, I, th I think um, maybe life should be more about more than just surviving. It was like one of my favorites. Um, uh, and then what? Would, yeah, I mean that, that you know, like we, I think we both really like we all felt that one. Um, and what was the second question? Um, who's your favorite actor to film scenes with? Yes. I don't make me choose from my family. <laughs> That's like asking which one of your kids is your favorite. You know, like, <laughs> but do it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you favor to have, like, what scenes do you like having? Oh my god, I don't want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay, neither do I. Okay. Some sort of way. Um, what, what, like, who do I enjoy filming with? Filming with? I mean, I'm so lucky, like, pretty much everyone on in the cast. Um, 
But I've got to give a shout out to Jessica Homan. Uh, yeah. yeah. She's just a boss bitch. I love her. Um, and, um, and, and her brother's pretty okay as well, I guess. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know, and like, uh, but like Bob and Paige and 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 Alicia and you know, and like the I I am blessed by this cast, honestly. So it's really, I do, I really do. It's weird. A lot of people say that and they don't really mean it, but I I do. So yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, I was just wondering, was there a specific scene that was challenging for you to film, either emotionally or physically? Just a, only a few. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I've got to say, like, the, one of the most challenging scenes for me um, was, it was actually season one, I think it was episode 11, if I am correct, um, where I had to... Uh, kind of entice, it was where I was in the bank vault and I'd been, we'd been kidnapped, me and Finn had been kidnapped and I ended up like, it's, it sounds so bad, like slitting this guy's throat and then like watching him die while staring into his eyes. <laughs> Do you know how, I, I like, I went home that night and I was like, must get clean. <laughs> I was like, I just felt like, so it, it was, it was really kind of, it, it was, he was a really good actor as well, so it just felt like horrible, I, yeah. Um, so that was really, really challenging. And then of course, um, I think I was, I was really emotionally like, um, kind of stunted by, um, by uh, killing Finn. Um, and then uh, watching Lexa die, obviously. It was a, we like, all were. Yeah, I know, yeah. So yeah, I, I think, I mean, I could go on for days about how many <laughs> scenes have affected me, but yeah, those are probably the highlights. Thank you. Thanks. Hi. Hello. Hi, so I have, hey. hi, sorry. I have two questions. Um, do you consider Clark to be a protagonist or an antagonist? And what's your favorite outfit of Clark's? Whoa. The first one was a good one. It is. Literally. I mean, I felt like in the first season I was the protagonist. Um, I mean, I was like, I know interesting that we kind of stopped it at episode one. Um, so, I, I suppose, pardon my ignorance, but let's just let's just take a second. Antagonist would be like essentially the bad person, or at least a, an obstacle oh, no, for others to cover. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So I'd say protagonist, I suppose. But you, you would probably disagree, wouldn't you? No, I agree. No, you agree? Okay, good. <laughs> um, favorite outfit. Favorite out, like, I I have to say, like, when, uh, so season, like, I loved my season one outfit. You know, it's the, it's the OG. And, <laughs> and, like, honestly, like, when we do flashbacks and I get to put that back on and still fit into it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, damn, yeah, let's get it. Um, so that's, yeah, I would say season one, even though there have been some pretty cool ones. Um, I just, the original is is my favorite. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hey. Uh, what was your favorite scene to do? Ever? Yeah, ever. <laughs> ever. Ever. In all five seasons. Just in red. Yes. Um, what was my favorite? Oh my god. I thought you were asking me for a second. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite scene to do? Uh, I'm not in the show. Does that count? Did I say I can't, I can't answer that one? No, I guess not. Um, <laughs> um, my, oh, goodness me. Um, my favorite scene. That's so difficult to answer. Um, I, I mean, out of, I could tell you, like, each, like, I mean, season one, I think, um, shooting the stuff, the flashbacks with my dad was really, really amazing for me. Um, season two, uh, uh, like, Finn's kind of me doing the stabby thing, um, was really, it was just very powerful, and, and we were all just at Lindsay, it was amazing, and like, it was just, it, it was, we shot until seven in the morning, um, and we were all just like in it, you know, like everyone. It was that was pretty amazing. And then season three, I would say, um, 
the city of light, like walking into the, that, that was incredible. Um, and then uh, season four would be like the, the, the very, the very last game of season finale. Yeah. So there you go. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Hello. Hi. Oh, okay. I have a two part question. The first part is really quick. So Clark is laying on the Rover at the end of the season. Does are you, going, are you going to have to learn to drive the rover now? <laughs> Spoilers. Does everyone here know that I don't have a driver's license? I mean, <laughs> well, we do now. <laughs> well, yeah. Did I just, that is a spoiler. Um, I there's a car joke in there somewhere because the spoilers are part of a car. Right. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> oh, <laughs> super geared in. I don't know. Um. Yeah, I guess uh, Clark's got a. Well, I mean, in in season like in the the last couple of episodes, I had to drive the uh, like the big truck, the Mount Weather one, and uh, let me tell you, that thing is not fun to drive, especially if you don't really know how. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess uh, maybe I should get my license and um, get in that robot. <laughs> <laughs> that was just the weird Oh, that was question. Yeah. Easy, easy. My more serious question is, um, I love season four finale. It's my favorite episode. You're so good in it. Thank you. And one of the scenes that stood out to me was the whole head in the heart speech. Do you think that, I mean, I know it's early, but could there be a little bit of a role reversal next year? Do you think that maybe Clark taking a more heart-based approach to how she's doing things, and that let me be more of a head-based approach? I mean, maybe, yeah. I mean, I, look, I haven't had my meeting with the writers yet, so I have no <laughs> idea what's going on, and it's really frustrating me because people keep asking. But, but yeah, no, I think that I, I, I was really happy about the direction in which we were going with, with just um, Clark being more just selfless and heartfelt. And, uh, at the end of, the, of this season, so I'm hoping that this really will be the traje tra trajectory. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Um, shout out to Joe. Uh, yeah, shout out to Joe. Um, in which, like, we kind of uh, direct it. And and as for Bellamy, I don't know. I mean, we're gonna be like separated. I, I don't know when. Like, when is he gonna come down? Um, I don't know what. You know, six years later, who knows? But um, hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, you listened and took my advice. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Hello. So, who in your life has been an inspiration or like a role model, mm -hmm. whether it be like another actor or actress, like a family, or <coughs> even like a fictional character? My, my mom mm -hmm. is tattooed right here on my wrist. Um, for good reason. She's been my rock and I adore her. My little brother's here actually, he can vouch for that. He's right there. Right, stand up, stand up. Get up here. Actually, yeah, I was just saying, that's what this chair is for. Get up. So yeah, come on up here. Come on up here. You get a microphone. Yeah, that's right. You get a microphone. We planned this. Ha ha. Is this a... Hello. Hey, little bro. Look at him. <laughs> I used to change his diapers. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sibling thing, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, sorry. Uh, yeah, I would say that uh, my mum's been a huge role model for me, and um, actor, actor-wise, I mean, I, you know, there are so many. I, I really respect like Guy Pearce um, as an Australian as well. I guess I'm being mm -hmm. like a little bit, you know, biased, but um, for him, just choosing roles that don't necessarily like make him all the money or blockbusters or anything, but it's about like how he connects to the role, and that's that's something that I really want to um, follow his footsteps in. If what you about know. like a fictional character, maybe uh, or even one that you really like that you look up to. Yeah. Jessica Day from New Girl. There you go. I, I just like, I'm obsessed with that show. <laughs> like, it's Zoe Deschanel. And, and, yeah, I was watching it this morning while I was doing my makeup to get ready to go here. <laughs> so, He's lying in bed for like three hours. Yeah. Just yeah, he, he had to put up with it. So, I mean, yeah, that's that's kind of a fictional character that I really, I really adore. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.